CBS This Morning co anchor Gail King sat down with Starbucks Executive Chairman and CEO Howard Schultz on April 18 to discuss the company's decision to close over 8,000 stores for the afternoon of May 29 to have employees undergo racial bias training. The shutdown comes in response to nationwide protests and calls to boycott the coffee conglomerate after two black men were arrested at a store in Philadelphia for doing absolutely nothing, but quietly sitting and waiting for a friend. They were later released with no charges filed. Schultz was appalled by what happened, and says he's committed to making sure nothing like this ever occurs again. I'm embarrassed. Ashamed. I think what occurred was reprehensible at every single level. I think I take it very personally as everyone in our company does and we are committed to making it right. The announcement we made yesterday about closing our stores, 8,000 stores closed, to do significant training with our people is just the beginning of what we will do to transform the way we do business and educate our people on unconscious bias, Schultz told King. It will cost millions of dollars. But I've always viewed this and things like this as not an expense, but an investment in our people and our company, and we're better than this, he said of the company's plan to close on May 29. There's no doubt in my mind that the reason that they, police, were called was because they were African American, he said, that's not who Starbucks is. The arrests occurred after the store manager noticed the two men sitting in the cafe without buying anything. The men told the staff that they were waiting to meet a friend, but the manager still called 911, and reported that they were loitering. Customers at the store told police repeatedly that the two men were doing nothing wrong, and the friend even showed up and said they were telling the truth. Police still took them away. The Philadelphia store manager has now left the company, according to Schultz, though he did not divulge whether or not she was fired. Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson also met with the two men in Philadelphia to apologize for the reprehensible incident. According to the company's spokesperson, who declined to disclose the details of the meeting, 